I'm sure that you've seen them on videos all over the internet. Not bicycles and at the same time, not a motorcycle. In fact, they are the perfect blend of both and are becoming more popular worldwide daily thanks to them offering freedom in a simplistic yet quiet and efficient way. Electric bikes are taking the world by storm and have finally hit SA shores thanks to Cadence Electric and the ever increasingly popular Teloria Sting MX3. Featuring top of the line components and expert craftsmanship, the Teloria Sting MX3 is a bike you can rely on and more importantly have fun on. Its strong lightweight aluminium frame and responsive fully adjustable suspension system provide a smooth comfortable ride while the high capacity 60 volt 38 amp battery delivers hours of uninterrupted fun. Especially when combined with the 3000 to 6000 watts eco or sport mode of power delivered by the silent powerful RPM SM motor. With a range of up to 100 kilometers on a single charge, a quickly changeable battery pack and a charge time from empty to full of only around 3 hours, the Sting ensures minimal intervals in between riding fun. The Teloria Sting turns heads wherever you may go, as we did riding on the outskirts of a golf course. Try doing that on a motorcycle. On the standard MX-3 you have two riding modes, Sport and Eco. Eco obviously tones the power down quite a bit, making the bike more manageable for those new or younger riders, while the Sport mode gives you the full power and full amount of fun, taking the top speed upwards of 80 km an hour. The standard disc brakes, which are hydraulic front and rear, have pretty much come off a mountain bike and do work well. However, for the more aggressive rider, I would definitely recommend an upgrade. The model we had on test was standard, except for a change in gearing and wider grippier tyres, which made a huge difference in the terrain that we're riding in. We also had access to a spare battery pack, which we managed to change in less than one minute, meaning we were back out enjoying the trails in no time. The ground clearance of 280 millimeters is adequate, but you do need to be careful over obstacles to ensure you don't ding the thin metal base plate. Seat height isn't really an issue and actually feels lower than the 870 millimeters claimed. The Sting also boasts a four level regen system adjustable in the speedometer, ensuring that you can get the most out of your battery life. The speedometer is small but visible, displaying all the important information that you would need, such as your speed, battery level, voltage, cycle and odometer. For added security, the Sting also has an ignition key, which is handy for those parents who wish to keep an eye on their grounded children and prevent joy rides. So the standard Sting is impressive, but Cadence Electric had a little surprise in store for us with a modified Sting. Fitted with a conversion kit consisting of an upgraded controller unit, 72 volt 57 amp battery, 21 inch front and 18 inch rear wheels, fitted with wide and grippy MX tires and seat bracket. What this does is take an already electrifying bike and put it on steroids. The whole bike is taller thanks to the wheels and seat brackets which are needed to accommodate the larger battery. And this just aids in increased comfort, ergonomics, aggression and increased ground clearance. This combined with the astronomical increase in power, 10,000 watts to 15,000 watts on this particular machine is a match made in heaven and around a 200% increase over stock. The bigger wheels and grippier tires now make sense and come into their own. The conversion kit transforms this thing into a take no prisoner electric monster capable of speeds in excess of over 110 kilometers an hour and also makes it possible to wheelie all the way up to those speeds while you hang on for dear life. So with the updated controller you get three riding modes as well as a reverse, yes you heard correctly, a reverse gear on the Teloria Sting.
So as mentioned earlier, you can change the battery pack on the Telaria Sting in less than a minute and it is a one person job. The nice thing about an electric bike like this, like this thing, is that you can customize it to suit your own personal preference and needs. The choices are limitless. You can literally change handlebars, grips, suspension, um, wheels, tires, you name it, you can do it on the Telaria Sting. Priced from just 89,900 Rand, the standard Telaria Sting is great value for money. For yourself or your child, whether you live on a farm or in an estate, that's the joy about owning an electric bike like this. It's a go anywhere at any time piece of kit. When I say go anywhere, it's not road legal. Well, not yet anyways. 